So guys, this right here is a copier toner spill right here. And this is what they used to try to get out the copier toner. And if you can still see there's residue there. I want to see if there's any brightener in this. It'll help me decide what I'm going to use to rinse it. Let's take a little sample of it. I'm going to hit the lights and take my handy dandy black light. I'm going to hit the lights in this area. Let's just do a test. Oh my word, look at that. Look at that. So for those of you that don't know, that spot will glow really bright. It's obviously got a brightener. Look at that. So that's a good test to see if a generic spotter has got a brightener. See how it just glows. And if you spill it on the carpet, look at that. Just like pee glows. So that is inherently got tons of brightener. So we're going to treat it accordingly. Now in this spray bottle, nothing gets out brighteners better than a little bit of crashed green. And I like to use Rose Solve because of all the copier toner. They, um, they obviously tried to get this out themselves. We're going to fix it the rest of the way properly. We're going to try to rinse out all this. I'm not talking bad about it. Generic product. And we're going to go from there. Um, I just wanted to show that little tip for you guys. Um, you can get more of these type of tips if you just ask. So we're going to go ahead and treat this with some rose solve and some trashed green. And it's going to look a gazillion times better. I'm going to fix it. All right. Catch you in a second. of the machines too loud I'll probably have to do a dub over on voice anyways what you try to do is try to apply alrighty guys so I had to do a little bit of voiceover you want to apply the solvent really liberally throughout the area and the reason you want to use a solvent or add a solvent to whatever surfactant you're using like trash green has a lot of surfactant is because you want to add a little flotation you want to strip away some of that oxygen in order to facilitate that carbon in the copier toner to lift out. If you notice I'm being very, very liberal with how I'm applying it and we'll reapply two or three times throughout the process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get back to enjoying the video and here you go.
So the reason we applied a little bit more and are using a brush is because we really want to get those solvents driven down into that carpet in order to um, add some flotation. We need to get that carbon up to the top or we'll end up with some um, reoccurring stain issues. You know, you want to make sure that you do three things. Thoroughly apply your, um, your pre-spray, agitate, rinse, and then rapidly dry it in the case of a spill like this. We want to make sure that this carpet is going to be dry as fast as possible. But we also want to make sure that that um, cleaning agent has really got in contact with all the fibers. So now back to the cleaning. Enjoy. Okay guys, we got it all finished up. Shine the black light on it, no more glow. Um, yeah, see how it's nice and pale now. It won't cause resoiling issues or anything like that. And the copier toner is completely removed now. Um, the water's just jet black with it. A lot of times people think they got a spot like that. These guys knew to call me, which makes me super happy. So um, hopefully those instructions help you out. And you guys have a great day.